Hi, my name is Evgeny from the Advertiser Management team. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up tracking to start running your first campaigns. Let's go! Before I show you how to set up tracking with AdCash, I would like to briefly explain how the technology works and why the conversion tracking is a must. Conversion tracking is mandatory when using some payout models like CPA Target, for example. Tracking informative event conversions is optional but very much recommended when using CPM or CPC payout types. It will help you optimize your campaigns. There are two tracking types we use to track conversions, S2S Postback and HTML Pixel. Let's take a closer look how they both work. Please look at the picture. This is the logic of S2S or server-to-server -server Postback. The user interacts with the ad first, then the unique click ID or visitor ID is generated. After this, uh, the user converts by performing a target action like installation or purchase or, or any other action. Then the advertiser sends the conversion unique click ID to AdCash, and after this, voila, AdCash logs the conversion, and the conversion is counted as, as successful on our side. HTML Pixel, which is not a recommended technology, but it's still better than nothing, works in a similar way. Tracking Pixel is basically a, a piece of HTML code that has been placed on your website or landing page to track user activity and conversions. To track conversions of your offers, you need to put a tracking pixel on the page that follows the sales page. It's often called as a thank you page. When the user visits this page, the tracking pixel code registers a conversion. It is very easy to set up, just copy the code and paste it on your website. S2S Postback is recommended over HTML pixel since the technology offers more accurate event tracking. So let us go to that cash advertiser account, tracking, goals, and see how it should be set up. At this step, you will have to choose if the tracking is going to cover all campaigns or a specific campaign like this. And choosing a specific campaign. If you have to choose a specific campaign, of course, make sure you created it before at this point. By the way, you can always check our video tutorials for campaign creation, clicking on the links above. Next, we have to give our tracking a name to be able to find it faster, if there are many of them. Global, for example. After that, we have to choose the action category, which is basically the type of the event you want to track. You already have all the standard event types to choose from, like registration, installation, sales, sales percentage, lead, and custom. In case you choose the option custom, you have to type in the name of the custom event, open, for example, if we're talking about opening an app after the installation is made. Let's put it back to the typical installation event. And next field, which is optional, by the way, is called value amount. In case you want to have the ROIs reflected within some of the advanced ad cache features like performance tab in the campaign editing, add the value here that uh, you're getting paid for at the particular event. For example, $1 per installation. By the way, it's going to work only in case this value is a fixed amount. Next, we have the counting settings. The default setting is to count all events. If you're going to use S2S Postback, keep it as is. If you're going to use HTML Pixel, it is better to use unique events because some browsers like Chrome, for example, might be sending the same event several times within a minute and you don't want to be charged for that. If you have a campaign with a goal like sale or adding item to cart, which potentially can be done several times by the same user on the same day, you can apply the custom setting like this. Choose one duplication count per five minutes, for example. Okay, let's go back to the standard all event setting. And the step is almost done. Now click Get Tracking Code, which takes us to the next page. And we have two options here, Global Postback URL, S2S, and Hybrid HTML Pixel. As explained earlier, we recommend using S2S, since it's more accurate than HTML Pixel. Before copying it into your tracking tool or directly to the Thank You page, make the Click ID parameter like this here or put any other parameter which your tracking platform is requiring for the click ID. Also check the available options to pass some more optional values, like dynamic price, for example. With the dynamic price value, you will be allowed to send back to AdCash your revenue per conversion so that you would be then able to track your ROI from advanced AdCash features, such as the performance tab, which I mentioned before. Once you're done here, copy the needed code to clipboard like this and set it up on your side. 
When you have placed our tracking code on your site, you have to verify your tracking so we can ensure it works, which is mandatory for campaigns with uh, CPA target payout model, for example. Please click verify tracking here. Choose the campaign this goal must be attached to in the verify tracking area, like this. And wait for a couple of minutes for the test URL to be generated. In our case, it's already generated. If it's not appearing there for a while, I recommend you personally just to refresh the page a couple of times and it will appear faster. When the test URL is generated, click on it like this, start test. So you are redirected to the offer. If you have a very specific targeting option, make sure you have a good VPN or a device to do the corresponding action. After a successful test conversion, the status of the tracking will be marked verified here. And in some time, the goal itself will be changed from pending to verified here. Just keep in mind that HTML pixel test conversions take longer to arrive, sometimes even up to one day. S2S postback test conversion should be here within minutes or sometimes even seconds. You can always edit your goal here, and you can always remove it here. Also, a very important note um, before creating the goal, before using the goal, make sure that you have chosen the tracking tool you're using here. If you don't find it in the list, just click Other and type in the tracking tool. Before we finish, let me show you one more tool we have in the tracking section. It is called Event Log. In this section, you can see all the conversions that AdCash server receives. You can filter by the date. You can filter by the date here. You can put the goal ID, you can put the campaign ID and filter by it. You can see the country, the status of the conversion, also the explanation why the conversion was rejected. You can also filter by rejected conversions and see all the rejected conversions you've got. You can put in the click ID and find a specific conversion and check its uh, data to compare it with your tracking tool, for example. You can also filter by using the payout. You can see the goal type the zone ID the conversion came from, the device type, the browser, and the language. Basically, everything which has been tracked for a specific goal, you can find here. And in case you need to compare the data with your tracking tool, go down and unload the logs in the given formats here. I really hope this video was useful and soon we'll see your offers running on all the possible formats we have. In case you need any help, you can contact us anytime using the information below. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below or send us an email to contact at adcash.com. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. And see you next time. Ciao.